Ladies and gentlemen, it's my very great pleasure to introduce to you the next speaker at the 2020 Digital Hash Bash broadcast. He's the executive director of the normal chapter here in the state of Michigan. He's also principal of Cannabis Council. He has so many other credits, you can't even begin to scratch the surface. Let me just say, welcome to the broadcast, welcome. Attorney Matthew yes. Abel. Hey, thanks, Rick. It's great to be here. Happy Hash Bash, everybody. Yeah. So, uh, what a wonderful day, considering that we're all more or less indoors. Um, I, I want to thank Jamie and Rick for putting this together. And uh, can you hear me now? We can, yes. yes. All You're right, great. good. Uh, thanks to Mike Camorn and, uh, and Deb Thomas and Jim Powers and Adam Brooke, Jeff Frazier, Amanda Joslin, and everybody who's behind the scenes there in the studios and remotely. We appreciate all your efforts. You're doing a hell of a job. And uh, so it's a little different this year. I usually, uh, one year I, I wrote a very diplomatic speech and, and gave it very measured and everything and got no response from the audience. So the next year I said, well, fuck that. And um, I went out and just yelled into the microphone and uh, happy hash bash everybody. And you get a rousing uh, reply that way. And, and so I've learned over time that that's the way to do it. And uh, it's a little different this year. But I wanna echo what some of the previous speakers have said. Um, Representative Robbie was talking about uh, making some amendments to the legislation and um, to allow patients and caregivers and, and adults to grow more plants. And for the medical, they're allowing, uh, the medical and the rec licensees it looks like they're allowing the count to be flowering plants, not just any plants. And I think that ought to go for people at home as well, that you should be able to have 12 flowering plants, not just 12 plants. Um, so Representative Robbie, if you're still listening, um, just put that one in your quiver and, and think about that. Uh, we need to continue on with expungement of marijuana convictions. It was a terrible loss to see the passing of Isaac Robinson who's been a good friend to the movement for many years. We, we mourn Isaac's loss. And in his memory, we need to push this expungement that he really carried the ball on for, for quite a while. Uh, we need to get this through the legislature and have the governor sign it so that people who are doing what's legal now, who, who were doing it back then, should not be punished. Uh, I support the decriminalized nature aspect. We definitely need to decriminalize any kind of plants. But remember, some plants are toxic and some plants are maybe not toxic in low quantities, but are toxic in higher quantities. So uh, just because it's legal doesn't mean it's good for you. Uh, but on the other hand, the things uh, making things illegal is definitely not good for you. We know that. Uh, so we need to empty the prisons and jails of nonviolent offenders uh, and uh, it's a uh, cruel and unusual punishment to give somebody death for, you know, a shoplifting offense or something like that. And that needs to change. Uh, echoing what the Drug Policy Alliance is doing these days, um, they're objecting to the president sending Navy ships to Venezuela, uh, where we're using personal protection gear to protect our soldiers, which we should. But there's no reason to be escalating the war on drugs now. Um, what we need to do is hunker down and have a war on the virus. So uh, fuck you, Donald Trump. Um, if I can just say that, I mean it. And anybody who doesn't like it, please unfriend me on Facebook. Um, in these times, I am so tired of arguing politics with people that um, I think it's really clear. And maybe it's a Rorschach test where people see what they want to see. But uh, it's clear that the, uh, the national administration... Uh, laid down on this for a couple of months, which is causing a lot more death and destruction. So um, one thing um, I noted through in an email, 51 years ago today, CBS canceled the Smothers Brothers comedy show because they refused to censor a, com a comment by Joan Baez, who wanted to dedicate the show to her husband, who was going to prison for a 
protesting uh, for objecting to the draft during the Vietnam War. So uh, this is a continuation of the protest movement, and um, it's not over until every marijuana prisoner is free. It's not over until marijuana is legal, not only in Michigan, but across the country and across the world. We know that the laws against prohibition do a lot more damage than good. Uh, finally, I want to say happy birthday to Haas Plord, who's been a, a longtime uh, supporter of Michigan Normal and the cause, and to everybody else out there. I'm glad Debbie Dingle was on. What happened? Did somebody uh, mess with her feed? Because uh, she's one of the few congressional representatives we've had who have uh, appeared at Bash Bash. And Adam, I like your suggestion that hopefully we'll be able to do this live next year but that we ought to do it online as well and uh, bring in people who don't want to travel that far to come to Ann Arbor on a cold Saturday in April to continue the protest. So um, Mike Camorn, Jamie Lowell, Adam Brook, Rick Thompson, and everybody else there and behind the scenes, thank you all very much. And uh, thanks for having me on the show today. Happy Hash Bash, everybody! Happy oh, Hash man. Bash, Matt. Well uh, said, job, sir. Matt. Perfect. And uh, I believe we have our next speaker up. Michael, if you want to uh, introduce uh, Barrister Radoy. Oh. Very, excited to, very excited to have our next uh, speaker here. He's uh, all queued up. I can see he's got the right shirt on. Well dressed <laughs> for today's event. Uh, I would call him a a uh, colleague of mine, but our relationship is much stronger than I like to call him friend and family. And uh, he's a great lawyer and uh, been in the trenches with him a number of times, and we've had nothing but successes together. And I know he's very excited to be speaking to the crowd. He's been a big uh, advocate beyond just his uh, law practice as a, as a marijuana reformist. He, he was pivotal and very active in the recreational law committee writing and also uh, with the movement that got it passed. And without further ado, please welcome my dear friend, colleague, and barrister, David Rudois. What's up, everybody? Thank you so much, Michael. Family, brothers for always, uh, brothers in arms in this fight for marijuana and beyond that. Um, happy, happy Hash Bash, everybody. We're doing it from home. I think it's uh, it's been pretty nice. I can't, you know, I'd rather be out there on the diag, but uh, been nice watching from the comfort of my couch and getting to kind of hang out with all you people, all my friends, uh, had you up on the TV. So, uh, let's do this again next year in person. But, uh, this was a great replacement given the circumstances. I think there's some things every, you know, we know hash bash is a protest. So a lot of people ask me, well, what are you protesting now? You know, we, we did it. We legalized marijuana. Well, as we know, Marijuana is not fully legalized uh, here in Michigan. It is much more legal than it was. And we did the best job we could making the, the best law. I believe we still have the best law that exists in the United States, but we still need more. Um, I was just on the phone with my best friend from Amsterdam who brought up an important point. It's not really legal uh, because we can't do it in public yet. Um, and I do think it's something, you know, we didn't want to put that on our ballot initiative. We were afraid it would be received badly by people. But if you can smoke a cigarette somewhere, you should be able to smoke a marijuana joint because marijuana is much, much safer. The second hand from smoke from marijuana probably has the medicinal value that the first smoke has, whereas cigarettes kill you. So uh, that's one thing we got to work on. Number two, expungement. Uh, I can't talk about this enough. We wanted it in the original bill. We just could not. Uh, we are worried for legal reasons um, that we couldn't get it in there. But right now, the state of Michigan and states all over our country are making money. The state itself is making money from marijuana while leaving these convictions on people's records uh, so that people are denied jobs. They're denied apartments. They're denied credit over doing what is literally the state is profiting from now. It's state-run business. The state is licensing and profiting and making tax dollars off of this industry, while the people who blaze the trail for this essential medicine, 
we call it essential now, even during COVID-19. The people that were providing it before, in my opinion, were essential people back then, but they were criminalized and we need to take it off their criminal records. It's fucking time. Um, and we need to work on national legalization um, until the day right now, what we all are protesting while we smoke a joint on our couches is the is there's still a law federally, we might not feel the effects of it, but it still says you're a criminal, that all of us that smoked a joint today are criminals. And that, in my mind, the federal government is the criminal for leaving it that way. We got to end this. Um, we still have a fight ahead. Um, and we need to deschedule the idea that marijuana is still scheduled as a schedule one, that video made by Camorin law was amazing at explaining this, but it is insane. Schedule one means no medical value. Um, by far a majority of the states and a majority of the states that have the most population view this as medical. They voted it through as medical. The people of this country have spoken that marijuana is medicine and it is still schedule one which means no medical value, that is insane. I think the final thing that we are protesting is although marijuana is a very important step in the decriminalization of drugs, um, we have to look at those ethiogenic plants. Um, those provide so much healing to people. They are so important for people. They are bettering people's lives and we need, and they're natural plants. And although what Matt said earlier about those plants, you know, they do have some danger to them, um, but taken in the right circumstances, um, they need to be legalized. Um, they are helping people's lives. So we still have a lot to protest today, but I also want to just know that we have a lot to be thankful for. We live in a state here in Michigan where marijuana is legal. There are many states that do not. We live in a state where I can hold up two and a half ounces of weed while walking past an officer, and he can't say a word to me about that. And uh, there was a hard fought fight between many different warriors who have already spoken today and many who did not speak today. It's been a fight going on since the start of Hash Bash, and we have made significant progress, and I think we all owe ourselves a pat on the back for that. Um, and I think we have a lot to celebrate. We have a lot to be thankful for. I wish everybody stay safe um, during this uh, crazy coronavirus time that we're going through. We're all gonna make through it, make it through. Um, we're gonna make it through together. And I just wish everybody to, when this is all over to call one of their best friends or somebody who's in isolation and have a nice video joint with them um, and just, uh, you know, be together during this weird, isolated time. Thank you, everybody. I happy fucking hash bash. We made it happen. And thank you to the Planet Green Trees crew for uh, for making this happen because it is an important part of all our culture, and we need to recognize it. And I'm very, very happy. I I appreciate you guys so much for putting in all this work. Thank you, guys. Next thing, if you got a joint, 